Oh my God. The house right here behind me was actually my house. This is where I pretty much grew up from like kindergarten all the way through high school, through college. What is going on guys, Brent and Jay. Today we are back out on the water. Uh, you know, this whole fishing thing really does wake me up earlier than usual. <laughs> With treasure hunting, I don't have to really get up early. Um, and uh, I just forgot how much I love the sunrise. Seeing the sunrise just like, it makes you feel like you're doing something right. Today we have this big beautiful beast right here. I do not have a name for this thing, so we need to come up with a name. Uh, I bought this the other day at Bass Pro, actually two days ago. Yesterday we took it out for the first time. Has a big trolling motor on it, has a giant depth finder on it, uh, has a lot of battery powered stuff, and on the very back it has an eight and a half foot power pole. It's basically the anchor, uh, which is really cool. So today I'm teaming up with my buddy Hudson again uh, to go out on this thing now. Uh, the very first time we tested it out was yesterday and we broke the boat in with some really good fish. However, today we're in a completely different spot. Um, we're actually at my hometown. This is where I was born and raised in Bartow, Florida. And um, we're at Mary Holland Park. Uh, so I have not fished here ever. Um, except when I was bank fishing as a little kid and I didn't even know this like little pit was back here So it'll be interesting to see uh, if we catch fish. I honestly have no clue I just want to say the Sun is hitting the water and the water is reflecting up and hitting my face Creating the most beautiful lighting <laughs> This is, oh, oh. <laughs> Hudson's on the struggle bus this morning um, What was I gonna say? Oh, we fixed some things that were issues about the kayak um, that we found out day one um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and address those. Also, still need to do a full review of the kayak because you guys have really wanted that, but I do wanna show you a change I made. <sighs> Gotta get socks off before you get in the boat, you know? I mean, shoes off, I got my socks on. So this unit right here, it draws a ton of power just because it's like honestly way overboard. This thing is absolutely huge and it's like a nine inch unit or something like that. It's, it's pretty ridiculous, but um, the battery goes in here for this thing and you got this thing which powers the whole, I don't know, it's really complicated, but I will say this, I had a battery that was about this big that Bass Pro recommended for this thing. Did not work, gave me about two and a half hours on the uh, unit here, which is just not good. If you're a fisherman like myself, if you're watching this, you probably are, um, you know two and a half hours on the water is just like, that's, that's, those are rookie numbers, man. So like we stay out on the water like five, six, seven hours, sometimes all day. Um, so I at least need to be able to use my electronics for some of that um, and especially scouting new water like we're doing. Um, so we upped the battery right here. We've got this big old, uh, this is basically like an ATV battery right here. Um, so we got this, this big old guy. So hopefully we'll have plenty of power on this unit today. It'd be so great if it wasn't 400 pounds. <laughs> but you just had to have that oh. one. Oh, Brandon, go kayak fishing. Buy the boat. Shaped like so a kayak. Much fun. All right, we in water, buddy. Oh, come here, girl. Almost forgot you. Dude, this friggin' thing has a mind of its own. Fish! <laughs> Baby! You! <laughs> Heck yeah! Let me use this net, baby! Let me use this net, baby! Let me use this net! Hey, 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 hey. We got a fish! Hey, we got a fish! We've been out here for 10 minutes, baby! Huh? <laughs> here we go, first fish, baby! <coughs> got him! 2.11 pounds. Yeah, slow rolling on a tree. There you go, 2.11. Hey, I would have never called this two pounder. The internet would have killed me if I called this two pounder, but he's 2.11, little chunky guy. Little buddy. Yeah! Oh my God, that's a big gator, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. That was a big freaking gator. Oh my God. I don't know if I recorded that. Oh God, that was sketchy, bro. Alright guys, right now I'm pulling Hudson. 
Oh, this is so much better. This works good. This fast as this kayak's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Other than on the roof of my truck. I got the trolling motor doing all the work. I got Hudson. <laughs> He's just along for the ride. Oh God! Uh, we're moving pretty good right now. We got a uh, 3.1 miles an hour, and and we're oh my God! What? I don't know what just happened, Bill. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Depth is four foot. <gasps> we found a huge ledge. Oh my God! It's fish stack on top of. Oh. <laughs> all right. Hold on, Bill. Hold on now. God dang. It's a huge drop. Oh my. God. God, I mean, I don't know what that is, but like, yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting used to my grass, but either way, I'm about to freaking cast out. There's a giant drop. <laughs> it's a carol basket. I wanted to give you a quick update on today. So today is going really well. Uh, obviously, you guys have seen what's going on, but I want to show you exactly what we're fishing. So Hudson accidentally hooked um, this rock, and it gave us like such a good example of what these fish are on. Um, so basically. This is like old mine land, which a lot of Florida is like this. And they have a bunch of like big excavators and all this stuff come in and pull out all of this material, phosphate, whatever it may be that they're mining. And it leaves all of this chunky rock, all this stuff. And Hudson and I were talking, this could potentially have been a mine pit or maybe even a trash pit where they put all the big rocks and whatnot. Um, so stuff like this is what we're finding at the bottom that the fish are hanging on to. There's a ton of bait. We can see it all rolling around. Um, so we're just going to keep fishing the rock. That is pretty much the strategy. It is very weird to be on a kayak in the middle of the lake fishing as opposed to like the bank or the trees or the laydowns. Um, but this is the pattern. So we've kind of like unlocked the puzzle. Now it's time to see what all is actually sitting on these rocks. Oh my God, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Come here, baby, yeah! How are we doing this, Hudson? How are we doing this, bro? How are we catching fish like this every day, dude? We are not good fishermen. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Uh, we got this fish right here. This is the best fish of the day so far. Oh, oh, we didn't wear. Yeah, let's, you, uh, let's wear. You dude. have a scale, bud. Go ahead and take a zoom in on that. Did it work? No, it's not good. It's because the sun, you can't see the uh, uh, LCD. All right, well, it says 4.05. I'm not kidding, I promise. I am really wishing we had a scale because now it's making me think the ones we caught yesterday were a lot bigger. So anyway, four pounder. Gonna go ahead and get a nice release. Oh, dude, the water is so warm. Yeah, I noticed that when I was getting, getting in. Sweet. That is so awesome, dude. How are we doing this, bro? We're not the best fishermen in the world. We're just out here making casts, bro. <laughs> we're, getting, we're touching freaking fish's faces today, bro. All right. Well, obviously we are not on the lake anymore. Um, the fishing uh, went really well and I was really, really happy with how everything went. Um, but I wanted to film something for you guys, or not film something, but show you guys something uh, that's really like special and near and dear to my heart. As you guys know, I said Bartow, Florida is where I was born and raised. Well, um, right now we are stopped in the middle of the roads. I might have to wrap the outro up, but we are stopped because the house right here behind me is actually my house. This is where I pretty much grew up from like kindergarten all the way through high school, through college, and then uh, my family moved. Um, but check this out. Without showing too much, this is it. This is our little bitty house. <laughs> You know, nothing crazy, but I have some of my best childhood memories and well, pretty much all of my childhood memories here. Um, but this is something that's really special. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but my dad uh, passed away in 2013. Believe it or not, he actually planted this giant bogan villa behind me. Um, oh, I got to move. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm parked in the middle of traffic, but like I was saying, believe it or not, he um, actually planted this giant bougainvillea um, bush behind me and apparently when he planted it, it was just like a little baby bush and now it's this like enormous thing and uh, 
So when I was younger and I lived here, I'd always try to take like these vines and stuff out of it. So it's not my uh, my bougainvillea or anything anymore, but it has a lot of sentimental value to me um, because my dad's obviously no longer with us. And uh, you know, it's a, you know, it's just kind of like a, a memory. It's like something that's still here. So, uh, you know, it's pretty special, but that's where I grew up, man. I was born and raised in that house. Love it, man. All right. Um, I don't really do uh, <laughs> outros in my vehicle, but I just uh, wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate uh, you guys tuning into my adventures. Um, if you guys saw my last video, I want to just like stop trying to be so premier. It's like really exhausting trying to do that all the time. I want to focus on like giving you guys the content you want to see and just being a little more open, sharing a little bit more stuff. You know, typically I would just wrap up the video where we ended, um, but I wanted to kind of show you some of this. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you don't, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but if you do like it, um, let me know in, that, in the comment section below as well. So that being said, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. You and I till the end. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Read him in, boy.